Hello, my name is James Bogue. I'm at Casa Cuadrao in the Spanish Pyrenees and uh, I'm just going to be sharing some units of practice that we sometimes share here in morning practices, just a way to start the day. And the main focus of these practices is really just to invite energy and information to flow easily and harmoniously within this field of our physical body. So one way we can consider yoga is to cultivate harmony or integrity to invite a deepening integration through the field of our reality. So physical practices. In yoga there's really no such thing as just a physical practice or just an intellectual inquiry or just a devotional practice. If it's yoga, yoga means to unify, to bring together, to gather. So in any yoga practice, we're really concerned with bringing all of ourself into whatever we're doing. So any yoga technique is really just designed or intended to help familiarize us with what it means to actually bring all of ourselves into the present moment. So the practice techniques, the idea is we might start with the lens of the physical body. When we work with the body, we'll recruit all of our sense powers. We'll recruit our mental acuity and focus. So we invite the mind, the body, the senses, all parts of ourselves to participate wholeheartedly together in the exploration of what is happening here and now and to train ourselves in the ways of being fully present. So one thing in yoga practice is to basically start as we mean to go on. Yoga recognizes that everything that becomes manifest, that takes form, has inertia. So they say in India the first step is half the journey. And so in the tr yoga tradition one of the basic practices is to start the day as we mean to go on. To invite, at the beginning of the day, the type of experience that we would like to characterize the day. Yoga is very practical. It recognizes that the day is likely to be unpredictable. It may offer us challenges or things that we might perhaps not have chosen from the menu of life who have the option. However, if we have invited, at the beginning of the day, a state of integration, what we might call attunement or at one in this field, then we've kind of prepared this field to be a little bit more robust, a little bit more steady, so in the face of the predictably unpredictable challenges of life, we've got a more, let's say, robust container to meet it with. One image that I find helpful is like an orchestra. Even if the orchestra are the finest musicians in the world, before they play a movement, they will take time to tune their instruments and to make sure that they're all tuned to the same key and the relevant key for the movement they're going to play. And then if you go to a great concert and they play three movements in the evening, for example, even in between movements, they'll tune in again. And so the idea in yoga is let us tune in at the beginning of the day. Let's set ourselves up so we bring ourselves, as best as we can, into a state of cohesion and congruence and balance and harmony. A state that is as close to yoga as we can invite. And from that state of steadiness, we can then move into the day a little bit more easily. So, first thing we're going to do is just do some pure spinal movements. So I learned this very simple sequence from a wonderful teacher called Simon Borg Olivia. He has lots of great online resources. His website is yogasynergy.com. Yoga uh, we're just going to look first at the pure spinal movements. Then we're going to do a bit, little bit of joint freeing to invite some movement, some lubrication to all of the joints. So this is just a nice way to kind of say hello to the physical body and check in at the beginning of the day.